Mark chapter 11, verse 1. The Bible says, Now when they drew near Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he, speaking of Jesus, sent two of his disciples and he said to them, Go into the village opposite you. And as soon as you enter, you will find a coat tied on which no one has set. Loose it and bring it here. And if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, the Lord has need for it. And immediately, he will send it here. So they went their way. Mark chapter 11. We're now in verse 4. So they went their way and found the court tied by the doorside on the street. Just as Jesus had said. And they loosed it. But some of those who stood there say to them, What are you doing? Loosing this cold. And they spoke to them as Jesus had commanded. Jesus is commanding someone this morning. So they let them go. Then they brought the cold to Jesus. And threw their clothes on it. And he sat on it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word this morning. May the Lord bless the reading of his word this morning. Today I'm speaking on a topic entitled. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. And I pray in the matchless name of Jesus that there is a release of provision virtue in the atmosphere as we are ministering this word and as we begin to pray. I pray in the matchless name of Jesus that those that came in the comment section carrying a need, a specific need, needing provision for their vision, that there will be a release in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me to work this word this morning. The Bible says in the first chapter, now they, when they drew near to Jerusalem. Now for context, we are about to enter into the triumphant approach as Jesus enters into the place where he's about to fulfill his assignment here on earth where he's about to go to the cross. So as they are drawing near to Jerusalem, there is specific things that are needed for Jesus' assignment to be fulfilled. And one of those sp things specifically is that Jesus is meant to enter into the city riding on a donkey. It's not meant to be a horse. It is not meant to be a chariot. It is not meant to be a glamorous glamorous any means of transport of that day it was specifically prophetically meant to be a donkey in this version says a colt there are certain things that god knows prophetically that you need for your assignment i don't know who i'm speaking to today there are certain things that god has not forgotten that you need for that vision that he sent you for there are certain things that God is aware of. He's very mindful of the fact that you are in need of these specific things for the very vision that he has sent you for. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but somebody has been feeling forgotten. Somebody has been feeling deserted. Somebody has been feeling cast off. Somebody has been feeling like God has given up on them. Somebody has been feeling like God has neglected certain aspects of their particular vision. Somebody's feeling a little abandoned. But I want to reassure you today 
that as you near your Jerusalem, as you near that place where God has sent you to, he is fully aware of the very thing that you need. Not only is God fully aware of the thing that you need, but I want to prophetic, prophetically release it into the atmosphere today and to encourage you, encourage your spirit that provision is already ready for you. I release it into the atmosphere that your provision is already waiting for you. In fact, there is never a need before there is provision. That's what we understand in the spirit. There is no need that is meant to arise before provision already exists for it. Your responsibility is to align with God. Your responsibility is to align with the assignment of God so that the provision can meet with you. Your responsibility is to align with what God is doing so that provision naturally flows into the very thing that you are doing. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I'm hearing God say, just align. If you align, if you align, if you align, provision is meeting you on the road to that alignment. Provision is meeting you on the road to that vision. Provision is meeting you on your path to your destiny. So Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem where he is going to begin to face the motions that are going to lead to his crucifixion. And there is already a prophetic release over his destiny that he's meant to arrive on a cult. So there are specific prophetic words that have been spoken over your life that already have caused provision to start gravitating to your vision. So I'm sent an assignment this morning to tell someone, do not worry. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. Provision is already waiting for you. Align. The Bible says he sends out two of his disciples. He didn't need to send the whole entourage. He just sent two of his disciples to go and take this provision that they needed. And the Bible says, he says, go into the village opposite you. Go into the village opposite you. And as soon as you enter, you will find a coat. The provision is waiting ahead of you. The provision is waiting ahead of us. Go right ahead. I love the translation that says, go ahead of us. Go ahead of us. You see, a lot of times we think that when God gives us a word, we are supposed to look around us and that word is supposed to be furnished with provision. But I'm sent to encourage someone today. I have a mandate this morning to make someone understand that some of your provision is going to meet with you as you align. Some of your provision is meant to meet with you as you approach the place of your assignment. Thank you for those gifts. God bless you and increase you. So he's, he says to the disciples, go into the village opposite you. And as soon as you enter it, you will find a coat on which no one has ever set. Or I just declare and I release it into the atmosphere. I release it into the atmosphere this morning. I release it into the atmosphere that some of you are about to receive provision that it has no re it has no reference. This provision has no reference. I'm talking about supernaturally induced provision for your vision that is absolutely no reference. You will speak about your testimony to people and you will say you will not believe how I got this sponsorship. You will not believe how I got this bursary. You will not believe how I ended my last year at university when my parents did not have the finances for me to finish it. You will not believe how I started school. You will not believe, they will not believe it. It will be unheard of. It will be without reference. The Bible says that no one had ever sat on this colt. No one had ever sat on this donkey. Jesus would be the very first, first person to use this manner of donkey. This manner of provision. Oh, I prophesy over you this morning in the name of Jesus. That some of you are about to enter into seasons where God is about to open secret doors of provision. Secret doors that no one even knew existed. You will say to them, 
I don't even know. I didn't even know that there was a funding for small businesses. Nobody had informed me. It hadn't been advertised in, biz, in, in the newspaper. There was no magazine that spoke about this opportunity. In fact, it was just beginning. It was just beginning. I am a beneficiary of such funding. I am a beneficiary of such. My whole undergraduate degree program was financed. Was financed by a funding that I knew nothing about. I'd never heard of it. My family had no exposure of it. We didn't have any reference. We didn't have any understanding of such manner of funding. But in the right time, oh, Randalaba, someone needs to touch on that. Someone needs to just touch that. Just, just, just touch that as a point of contact and say, Lord, let it be done unto me too. We didn't know about this funding. But in the fullness of time and in the right season, we knew of this funding and we applied for it. And the Lord was faithful. And I remember speaking to my friends. I didn't even know how to tell them. I, di I didn't, it had no reference. We had never seen anything like it before. But right in the fullness of time, it appeared. Right in the fullness of time, it appeared. Right in the fullness of time, I declare and decree that your provision is going to appear. God bless you for those gifts. Keep sharing this live broadcast. I am talking about funding and provision for the vision. Jesus says you are going to enter into the village and you are going to see a donkey tied and no one has ever sat on it. Oh, I prophesy supernatural doors of opportunity, supernatural doors of provision to open up for you that you have never heard of, that have never been advertised. No, not a lot of people know about these doors, but God will reveal them to you. God will open up these doors for you. And Jesus says, if anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Why are you taking this donkey? Oh, I love this part. He says, tell them the Lord needs it. Tell them the Lord needs it. There is need for this provision. I'm placing a demand in the spirit realm this morning concerning your need. I'm placing a demand in the spirit realm this morning concerning your need. I'm placing a demand in the spirit realm this morning concerning your need. I'm placing a demand in the realm of the spirit this morning concerning your need. God, meet them at their point of need according to your riches and glory. God, meet them at their point of need according to your riches and glory. God, meet them at their point of need according to your riches and glory. They didn't send themselves to this school. They didn't send themselves into this business. You spoke to them. Let there be provision for this vision. Let there be provision for this vision. Let there be provision for this vision. Let there be provision for this vision in the matchless name of Jesus. I want you to understand this morning that every vision carries provision. Every God ordained vision carries with it provision. God is a profitable man. God is not a wasteful man. God is not a God of confusion. He does not send you out with vision and it lacks provision. God is a profitable gentleman. God is a profitable businessman. God has never done anything in, in all creation that was not profitable. And even when there was threat for any unprofitability, even when there was threat for loss, God would figure out and strategize ways in which to redeem his profit. He would strategize ways to redeem his profit. Look at how he sent the Lord Jesus to die for our sins when we we're about to be a loss in his business venture. Look at how he sent his only begotten son to die for us. When we were about to be a loss, hell was ready to receive us. The jaws of hell were ready to receive us. And he said, not on my watch. I am a God of profit. Everything I touch turns to gold. 
Every project I'm a part of is profitable. And so God would never send you with a vision without provision. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I hear God saying, just aligned, just align, just align. I want you to know this morning that every action needs means to function. Every anointing that God has placed over you, it needs means to function. Every anointing, every action that God has placed over you is going to need means to function. It is going to need funding. It is going to need sponsorship. It's going to need partners. It's going to need destiny connections. It is going to need means to function. I hear a lot of people say, woman of God, God sent me alone. Only God will do it. And I always say, yes, but God will use people. You better be humble. You better be careful how you treat people because God will always use a person to bless you. <laughs> the Bible says God is spirit and he, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is spirit. God is spirit. He's always going to need people. He's always going to need people to bless you. So be careful how you treat me. <laughs> be careful how you treat your neighbor. You don't know who you're speaking to. <laughs> be careful how you treat the people that God sends into your vicinity. The Bible says some people hosted angels without knowing it. There are times when God is in the habit of sending angels sent on assignment with your provision or with your answer. And yet they are covered up in flesh. So be careful how you treat people. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but every function needs means to function. It doesn't matter how anointed you are. If God can't find men to speak into your vision, that's why God will end up raising even stones. God will even end up raising even the raven to feed you with honey. God will always need someone to minister unto your vision. So every action needs means to function. I'm sent an assignment this morning to tell somebody every need is met before it arises. Every need is met before it arises. We are under the assumption that God is confused sometimes when there is need in our lives. We are under the assumption that God sometimes is rushing around, jostling around, looking around for provision for our need. But I'm sent an assignment. I'm sent an assignment to clarify that, that every need is met before it arises. The Bible says that the lamp of God was slain since the foundations of the world. How do you explain this mystery to me? How do you explain this secret to me? How do you explain the mystery that the lamp has been slain since the foundations of time, but man has not yet seen in the garden of Eden? How do you explain to me that my salvation was already bought before I sinned? How do you explain to me that an answer already existed to the very thing I didn't even know I needed an answer for? God bless you for those gifts, Christina. May God increase where you have taken. How do you explain to me? How do you explain to me, woman of God, that this need that I have already has a solution? How do you explain to me? How do you explain to me that this need that I'm, that I'm struggling with already has provision for it? I'm sent an assignment to encourage somebody. God bless you, Percy, for those gifts. God bless you, Andrea, for those gifts. I'm sent an assignment to calm someone down. You are, I see you jostling. I see you jostling around. I see you jostling around. Some of you are getting desperate in the comment section. I see desperation in the comment section. God bless you for those gifts, Dalu. May God increase where you have taken. I'm seeing desperation in the comments. I'm seeing desperation in the auditorium. You are under the assumption that God has forgotten you. You are under the assumption that God does not see you. You are under an assumption that God has no, has no, has no, he has no provision for this need. I'm seeing despair. Kalebosa. Makela, I'm feeling, in fact, I'm feeling in my, I'm feeling in my body, the despair that someone is feeling. I'm feeling the agony. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the, the discouragement. 
You are under the assumption that God has released you and sent you and provided this opportunity and opened it up for you. And you are not going to receive the provision that is necessary to, to execute this vision. Kale go senda. Le kozi dabaria danamanda. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. We cast out that foul lie in the name of Jesus from your mind. You do not serve a God that understands loss. He doesn't know how to fail. He is a profitable God. He is the best businessman I know. He is a businessman who has a solution before a need arises. Think it not a strange thing for you to have this vision. Think it not a strange thing for you to be in that department. Think it not a strange thing for you to own that business. Think it not a strange thing. God has already set the provision for it. Every vision carries provision. Believe that. Every function needs means to function. Every unction needs means to function. Believe that you have already received it. Every need is met before it arises. He says, you are going to enter into a village and you are going to see a court. No one is set on this court and when you see it, I want you to say the Lord needs it. Provision was already ready before Jesus arrived in this village. It was already waiting for him. <laughs> and let me tell you something. What is meant for you is for you. What is meant for you will never miss you. What is meant for you will wait for you. What is meant for you if it is meant, if, even if it means God has to tie it down so that it doesn't move around. Even if it means that this donkey had to be tied to a tree so that it doesn't wander around. Just so that it is available when the master needs it. Just so it is available for when your vision needs it. Even if it means that funding for small businesses has to be delayed. Even if it means that they have to release it a month later. Because only then will you have actually applied for your, applied, applied and registered your business. And only then are you going to be qualified. Even if it means that, that things have to shift, shift in the realm of the spirit to align you to your provision. Your vision will not, your provision will not miss you. Your provision will not miss you. What is meant for you will come back for you if it has to. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm speaking in riddles this morning. What is yours will come back to you if it has to. What is meant for you will, will be tied. Do you know that there are times when you're tied in a place and you don't even know why? Some of you, some of you are looking at it as delay, but God says, I'm tying you around here because only here will you meet with your destiny connection. I need you to be around. I need you to be, the, the donkey needed to be around because only then would it be, well, only then would it meet with Jesus. Only then would it have the maker of the universe sit on top of it. Only then will it be turned just from a mere donkey into a history maker. Only then, only then, some of you God is saying, I'm keeping you around this place you it feels like you're tied around this place it feels like you keep moving around this place but i want you to know that there is destiny connections that you are meant to connect with in this place i want you to know that there is partners that you're going to do business with in the future that you are meant to meet with in this place i want you to know that your funders are only going to be a able to identify you if they meet you in this place. I want you to know that your sponsors are only going to be able to recognize you if they meet you in this place. Some of you are looking at it as delay. Some of you are looking at it as delay. And God says, just wait around here. The coat had to be it had to be in the vicinity. 
because the disciples were specifically sent to a village and they were specifically sent to a particular place. Now, given there were many donkeys around, there were many donkeys around, but there was one specific donkey. There was one specific donkey that was chosen. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you have taken. Share this live broadcast. We end very soon. And may God bless you as you share. Given there were many donkeys in the city, but there was one that was chosen. There is a funding that is yours. There is a business partner that is yours. There is a sponsorship that is yours. And I said, what is meant for you will never miss you. What is meant for you will never miss you. Some of the things that are yours right now, they have an invisible hook on their, on their, on their, on their necks. Just so they don't miss you. Just so they stay around the vicinity of the place where you are meant to align with them. I declare and I decree that God is ordering your footsteps into your provision. In the matchless name of Jesus. I declare that God is aligning your feet in the path of the corridors that lead you and usher you into your divine provision. In the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that right now you are, you are walking in the corridors of destiny. And you are on your way to provision for that vision in the name of Jesus. I declare that God is not an unprofitable man and you will not be unprofitable in your endeavors in the name of Jesus. God will not lead you this far to leave you. God will not lead you this far to leave you. God will not lead you this far to leave you. And Jesus sends the disciples with a word. That is already contending with any resistance that might want to stand in the way of this provision. He says, if anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Why are you taking this provision? Why are you taking this donkey? Why are you releasing this donkey where it has been tied? I want you to say the Lord needs it. He releases a prophetic word to counter any resistance. How many of you know that there is resistance in the place of your provision? God bless you for those gifts. How many of you know that there is arrows contending with your provision? How many of you know that there is arrows and altars contending with the job that you are meant to get? How many of you know that there is strategic things that the enemy has placed in front of you? To hinder you from accessing that provision for your vision. God bless you for those gifts and keep sharing this live broadcast. And may God bless you as you share. He sends and releases a word and he says, I know. I know the systems of this world. I know the systems of this world. They, they don't bank on you achieving it. They don't bank on your business achieving it. They don't bank on you finishing your school. They don't bank on you sending your children to school on your own as a single mother. They don't bank on you making it. So I'm releasing a prophetic word to that resistance. We begin to apply supernatural pressure over every resistance that has been standing in the way of you and your provision this morning. We begin to apply supernatural pressure over every limitation, every barricade, every bottleneck, every blockade, every hindrance, every man standing in the way of you and your provision. In the matchless name of Jesus, the master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. I'm speaking to that bank. The master's child needs it. I'm speaking to that sponsorship. The master's child needs it. I'm speaking to that bursary. The master's child needs it. I'm speaking to that job that you're looking for. The master's child needs it. We are speaking to that resistance. We are speaking to that struggle. We are speaking to everything that has been sent on assignment to act as a defiant over the thing that you need for your vision. We are speaking to it. 
We are applying supernatural pressure over it this morning. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. Release it. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Release it in the name of Jesus. Release it in the name of Jesus. Release it in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release in the spirit. Let there be a release in the name of Jesus. We declare that there is a release in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I declare that you have been trying to gravitate towards your provision. I declare that from this morning onwards, your provision is going to start gravitating towards you. I declare that you have been trying to press on into the funding place. But I prophesy over you this morning that that funding is going to start applying pressure to come to you in the name of Jesus. It is going to start walking closer to you in the name of Jesus. I announce it in the realm of the spirit that that need is met according to God's riches and glory through Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it go. Free that provision. Let it go. Release that provision. Devil, let it go. Let it go. Untie it in the name of Jesus. We declare it. We report it. We announce it in the realm of the spirit. Release it. Release it. Release it in the name of Jesus. Release it. Release it in the name of Jesus. Release it in the name of Jesus. That provision for that vision. Now watch this. There was already a prophetic alignment that Jesus had to enter Jerusalem riding on a donkey. It, it didn't need to be, a, 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 it, it mustn't be a horse. It mustn't be a chariot. It needed to be a donkey. And it was prophetic, prophetically released already that it had to be a donkey that no one had ever set on. There is a prophetic alignment to the things that you need. There is a prophetic alignment to the things that you need. God already knows that you need them. He already knows that you need them. Chapter 4. So they went their way and found the donkey tied by the door outside of the street, just as Jesus had said. I declare and decree that as you walk out of this live broadcast, you are coming toe to toe with your, with your need. I declare that you are aligning to your need. I declare that you are coming back with a testimony. I declare and decree that you are meeting with the very thing that you need to move to the next level in your business, to move to the next level in your schooling, to move to the next level. Your family is need of funding. I declare that you are stepping out into the street and you are, you are meeting the donkey because the master's child needs it because the master's child needs it i want someone to boldly type in the comment section why is this going to happen because the master's child needs it you're you're, you're coming toe to toe with your funders why because the master's child needs it <laughs> Be because the master's it, it needs to happen because the master's child needs it i don't know who i'm speaking to but i see that provision I see that provision, Makuza de la Manda, because the master's child needs it. Because the master's child needs it. I'm seeing someone sitting. I'm you're, you're sitting on the on the on the on the you're sitting on a you're, you're sitting on a couch. You're waiting to enter into a, a meeting at a bank where there is funding that is needed. And I'm seeing you regurgitate this statement. The master's child needs it. You're placing a demand in the spirit realm. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. I'm seeing some of you, you're sitting on a bench outside of an, of an office at a university. You're contending for your future. You don't know how that school fees is going to be paid. You don't know how that balance is going to be paid from last year. And I'm seeing you regurgitate this statement. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. I'm seeing some of you. You are you are sitting. You're sitting at the at the at the lounge area of the of the place where you're going for an interview. 
You're wearing. You look good. <laughs> You look good. You're wearing your you're wearing your suit. You're wearing your tie. <laughs> you you're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good and you're regurgitating this statement. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs this job. The master's child needs it. It's going to happen because the master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. I'm seeing some of you, your businesses, you're about to reapply for new credit terms with your suppliers. And you're waiting for the boss to come out so you can speak to him. You're waiting for your appointment and you're regurgitating this because the master's child needs it. Because the master's child needs it. Some of you, you have been waiting for people to come into your vision, to touch hands with you. And to elevate it to the place where you continue to see it as you, when you sleep, you see the ministry on a different dimension. But right now it's still so small. I'm seeing you regurgitate this statement. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The master's child needs it. Chapter four. So they went their way and found the donkey tied by the door outside on the street. And they loosed it. But some of those who stood there said to them, What are you doing? What are you doing? I come against any resistance standing in the way of you attaining that which you need for your vision. I come against any resistance standing in the way of you. I come against any barricade, any blockade, any brass gate in the name of Jesus. Let it be shattered because the master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. We silence every voice speaking against you in the spirit realm. We silence every voice speaking against you in the spirit realm. There are voices speaking against other people here. There are voices speaking against you every moment you are about to attain a job. There is a voice. There is noise in the spirit realm. There is noise in the spirit realm concerning your meta. But I declare that there is a silencing of the people that have been speaking against you. Of the altars that have been speaking against you. Because the master's child needs it. Because the master's child needs it. I speak a silencing of every ill word spoken against you that has been regurgitating. It has been echoing in the spirit realm against your opportunities, against your funding, against your sponsors, against your, 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 your streams of income that you've been trying to create. There's been, there's been noise in the spirit concerning you, but I declare and I decree the master's child needs it. Let it go now, devil, in the name of Jesus. The master's child needs it. Casa Tinamando. The Bible says, So they spoke to them just as Jesus had commanded. Just as Jesus had commanded. So they let them go. We apply supernatural pressure over everything that has been resisting you, that, is that has been causing resistance in the spirit realm concerning your funding. In the name of Jesus, it is silenced in the matchless name of Jesus. It is silenced. It is silenced. It is quietened in the name of Jesus. We muzzle the mouth of the enemy. We muzzle the mouth of the enemy. We muzzle the utterances of the enemy. We, we muzzle every ill word that the enemy is speaking. We gag his mouth in the name of Jesus. We gag his mouth in the name of Jesus. Devil, you will no longer speak against this person. You will no longer speak against their family. You will no longer speak against their children. You will no longer speak against their business. You will no longer speak against their health in the name of Jesus. Because the master's child needs it. 
The master's child needs it. Any agent of the enemy sent along your path to speak against your provision that you need for the vision that God gave you. I declare and decree today that the master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. Jesus gave us these words. He said, tell them that the master needs it. And when they spoke these very words that Jesus had given them back to these people, the Bible says, so they let them go. I declare that that circumstance is letting you go in the name of Jesus. That resistance is letting you go in the name of Jesus. I see it. It's happening. Some of you are, re are feeling as though something had been sitting on your shoulders. And you are feeling all of a sudden that tension is being released. It's almost like something had been sent to sit on you. It had been sent to sit on you. To sit on you so that not only are you being fought spiritually, but you are you are tired. You are getting you are getting physically tired from walking around up and down applying. Up, walking around, applying, walking up and down, looking for that funding, walking up and down, looking for that job, walking up and down. It's almost like your strength. They were, they were sitting on your strength, but we break it in the name of Jesus. We break that discouragement in the name of Jesus. We break that burden in the name of Jesus. We infuse strength into you in the name of Jesus. Because the master's child needs it. The master's child needs it this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you for those gifts, Tomika. May God increase where you have taken. And may you not lack in the name of Jesus. Chapter 5. Chapter 7 says, Then they brought the call to Jesus. The donkey is brought into alignment with a child of God. The, that donkey is brought into alignment with the, pro, with, the, with the prophetic mandate that it was meant to. That it was meant to since the beginning. I declare that God is aligning you in the name of Jesus this morning. I declare that you're aligning with your destiny connections this morning as we're landing. I declare that you're aligning to your partners, business partners, project partners, collaboratory partners. I declare that you are aligning to your funders. Some of them are going to be steered by the wind of the spirit to, 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 to seed into, your, into, into, into the very thing that you're doing. Some of them are going to literally dream to come and partner up with you. Your funders are looking for you in the name of Jesus. I declare that your sponsors are looking for you. I declare that your sponsors are ready for you. I declare that your sponsors know about you. I declare that your sponsors are willing and they are ready. I declare that the income streams that you have been trying to create so you can fund your child's lifestyle, so you can fund that degree program so you can find fund going back to school so you can fund that business i declare that the income streams that you've been trying to create so you can fund your family's life so you can take care of your relatives i declare that there is an opening there is an ease that god is releasing over your endeavors i declare that god is blessing your efforts in the name of jesus and that there's going to be a breaking there is a breaking. There is a breaking that's taking place. Some of you, you've been struggling to create the systems that are necessary. You know, the Bible says that put your tithe, bring your tithe into the house of the Lord and he will open up windows and pour out a blessing. Some of you, you need income streams. You need streams. You need to create systems around you so that when you're praying for funding, you're not just praying, but you have systems ready. Systems, streams that God can use to bring the funds. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Someone has just been praying. You, you don't have a business registered. You don't have, you, you don't have, you, you, you don't have anything. What, what can God use? God needs a system. Create a system. Then pray. Create a system. Then pray. Create a system. Then pray. don't just pray. That's why some of you, you're getting robbed by these charlatans. 
that just say, say God, they just say, just, just receive it. You're receiving it, but where is the stream? God says, I, I have the, I have the funds here, but what streams do I use to channel these funds into your life? He says, what streams am I going to use to give you this money? I have it. In fact, it's, it's already been released. Some of you, the angels that were sent with your income streams already came with them. Then they looked around your life. You don't have a business. You sell nothing. People are looking at you and there's so much favor over your life. God bless you for those gifts. There's so much favor over your life. So much favor. But it, it, it's looking for streams to enter, to flow into your life. And there is nothing. There is no stream. You have not created systems around you that allows God to, to pour into your bosom. Have you ever seen water moving where there is no stream, where there is no channel? How do you expect this money? How do you expect these sponsorships, this funding? How do you expect it to enter into your life? Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I hear God saying, gain wisdom, gain knowledge, gain understanding. Just look for something that you can create because I'm getting ready to bless you. But you have no system. You have no system. I, there is nothing I can use to channel. Channel these funds into your account. Some of you, some people don't even have bank accounts. And they're trusting God for funds. They, they, want, to, they, want, to, they, want, they want to pick up that money in the streets. Don't make God's life difficult. <laughs> don't like uh, prayer pray governors. Prayer governors, I want you to type in the comment section from today onwards, I'm wise. I'm wise. I'm wise. I refuse to, to pray without wisdom. I just want you to type prophetically in the comment section, God, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. What do I need to create for these funds to enter into my account? What do I need to create? What do I need to create? What do I need to... God, make me wise. Make me wise. Make me wise. I, I speak prophet. I don't know about you, but I'm touching my head. I prophetically speak over my life. I don't want to... I don't want to knock on people's doors and constantly be asking for money. I want to create systems and pray over the systems and say, God... The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. Look at my system. Look at my system, God. I need these finances. Pour them into the system. Pour them into the system. May God give you wisdom. Because you can receive all you want and those things are waiting right at your doorstep. There is no system for them to enter in. There is no system for them to enter in. Create something. Create something. What is it that you have in your hands? Use it to create something. May your funders locate you. May your partners locate you. May your destiny connections locate you. Some of you, you're so, I'm seeing someone, you're overwhelmed with the, with the ultimate vision. But God says, sometimes you need to create something that will fund the vision. I don't know who, who this word is for, but I hear, I hear, I hear, I see your vision is so big and it overwhelms you so much, but you can create a smaller income stream, a couple of smaller income streams that then finance the bigger income stream. I need to, I, you guys need to be paying for, I, I'm, ta I'm taking some people to school this morning. <laughs> I'm giving some people, I'm, I'm, I'm giving some people some, 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 some gems this morning. I, you guys need to pay school fees for this. <laughs> Some, some of you need to say woman of God, ah, woman of God. This is, this is, ah, I'm preaching. I'm preaching better than you're saying. Amen. I'm, I'm preaching better than you're saying. Amen. This morning. This is why the enemy was fighting this live broadcast. I almost went back to sleep. This is why the enemy was fighting this live broadcast because God is delivering someone from the jaws of poverty and he's doing it for your family. Because you are, you are responsible. He knows he can trust you with finances. He knows he can trust you with increase. He knows you can, tr he can trust you. God bless you. Thank you, Bren. He knows he can trust you. He knows he can trust you. And God says, I've seen your heart. Your heart is in the right place. Now I need you to create systems that I can use to channel the blessing. I, 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 God, thank you, Jesus. Some of you, I'm seeing you are, you've come from families that have never been able to place a demand on God concerning their generational wealth. Oh, I felt, I felt virtue come out of me when I said that.
That's a word for someone. You are coming from a family that was meant to be generationally wealthy. But because nobody has ever had the spiritual muscle to place a demand on heaven concerning that generational wealth, you, you literally are coming from a family of people with so much great capacity, but no one has ever really made anything good out of their lives. You're coming from a family of brilliant people. Brilliance is in your family. You, you, you guys are good. You guys touch anything with your hands. It looks good, but there is never anything that comes out of it. And I hear God say, place a demand on me for that generational wealth. I want it to start with you. The master's child needs it, God. Place a demand on me for that generational wealth that nobody has ever tapped into. I want, I want you to test me. I want you to try me. I want you to test me. I want you to try me. I declare and decree that some of you are getting the audacity to place a demand on that generational wealth that is staying in the realm of the spirit that is sitting right now untouched in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are placing a demand on God. You're saying, God, we are too brilliant. We are too gifted. We are too anointed. We have been too loyal as a family. You have, we have been too faithful to your work for us to remain in this object poverty. And I'm seeing God giving you supernatural wisdom and supernatural strategies on how to create income streams. And I'm seeing the hand of God laid on those income streams, pouring out. I'm seeing, it's almost like it's gold, but it's liquid gold. Oh, kalabasuka. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I hear God say, I want you to look for a date to fast concerning this word. Connect with this word through, through fasting. Look for a day to fast and place a demand on God for this generational wealth. Look for a day to fast and to deny yourself and consecrate yourself and pray for this generational wealth to be released. Oh, this is so good, Lord. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else to release after that. I felt virtue come out of me. I felt I felt virtue come out of me. I felt virtue come out of me. Place a demand on that generational wealth. Place a demand on those fundings. Place a demand on those sponsorships. Place a demand on those income streams that you have been working on, that you have been struggling with. Place a demand on those destiny connections. May, may doors open up high and wide for you as you come. Because the master's child needs it. I need some, some of you to press in right now. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you three minutes to press into the presence of God and just place your burden before his throne. Place your burden before his feet. Place your burden. Name it by name. Name it by name. Name it by name. Shakaya ba 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 shoka. I'm seeing doors opening up high and wide for you. That which you need will not be able to resist you. Declare it prophetically here by Matherine. Declare it. Amen. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. The master's child needs it. Your children need these things, Lord. Your children need these things, Lord. God bless you for those gifts. May God increase where you have taken. Thank you to everybody that is shared today. Makusa Talalamanda. Thank you to everybody that is shared today. Makuse Yanda. Speak a word of blessing over you. Thank you for, for, for releasing the gospel to your timeline. May God reward you greatly. 
makuza da 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 manda may you never lack help in your own vision makuza da 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 may people share your business may people recommend your businesses May people recommend your services for sharing the gospel. Maria da 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 balo grodia na 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 manda. May people may people may people share. May people share with you, Marenda. May there be no resistance in the day when you have need. Makuze de 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 di anda la la de 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 bosa. As you shared the gospel, Marinda na na ni anda le le de di anda da na na manda. May people share your lot with you. May people share your lot with you. May people share your portion with you. There are people that have been sent right here on this earth with your with money that is called yours and they are holding on to it may they release it in the name of jesus as you share the gospel monday may you never lack may you never lack may you never lack may you know no lack in the name of jesus god bless you for sharing god bless you for sharing Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, your children need these things. Press into him. We're about to finish. Press into him. We're about to finish. Press into him. Just place your children before him. Place, place your rent before him. Place your business before him. Place whatever thing is connected to your assignment before him. Release virtue. Release finances, release sponsors, release partners, release opportunities. Makosa tatali and alamanda. Opportunities are, are looking for you from today onwards. You're receiving those, those emails. Era da da da. You're receiving that text message you've been waiting for in the name of Jesus. You're receiving that chance you've been waiting for, that you have been preparing for, that you are looking for. Your moment is coming. Your opening is coming. Your slot is coming. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Hallelujah. You are good, oh God. Ah, yeah, 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 Santa Lamanda. Hallelujah. You are good. 